Hello everyone and welcome to Usidility. Today we are going to see how to play Diablo Immortal on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5, that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action, and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Diablo Immortal and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Diablo Immortal. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else buddies, to get started we have to open our favorite web browser. We selected the one we use by default. Let's continue, going to this URL that I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen of the PC. There is no need to type it, because there's a clickable link in the video description in the first pinned comment. Once clicking on that link, we land here on the site of Bluestacks. No panic, it is only the Android emulator that we will use to enjoy the game Diablo Immortal on the PC. It is now obvious that we have a number of pros of using this emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Diablo Immortal by clicking on this button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. We then click on it. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It is a file to execute. The following step is to launch the installer, ok, so we have to click on the file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the computer. We have said yes. I minimize the internet browser to find the installer better. The installation software is very easy to use. It includes two options, install and setup path. I will clarify what setup path does indeed. We simply just click it. And so we realize that we have now here the path in which the emulator will be installed. If we plan to modify this folder we have got to click on this, browse, button. Therefore we pick another directory and set up the emulator exactly where we want. I am going to leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I simply click install. Fantastic, the setup commences and it will go forward together with the download of these MB that are shown on our computer screen. At the time you download it, it might possibly be a bit more or less megabytes. The data transfer rate might go faster or slower, based on your type of connection and depending on the velocity of the emulator servers. Right now they're going super fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator happens to be launched instantly. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will fill up and when it attains the end, the emulator can be started for the very first time. The fact is that the emulator has been launched, here it is for the first time. Before we keep going, as you can discover, it has made two icons there on the computer desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks multi-instance. Note that the Bluestacks icon is going to be the one we are considering. Whenever we need to launch Diablo Immortal on our desktop or laptop, we twice click on this specific icon and therefore use the emulator. The Bluestacks multi-instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved multi-instance manager in eco mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me conduct the next phase, that is a must, and that is to log on to the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we are going to just click on Play Store. As you understand the Google Play is started, in this case we need to sign in. Currently once we are there, we must perform the following step that is imperative. Therefore we just click on, Sign In. At present it shows, Checking Info. It may from time to time get stuck in, Checking Info, additionally it doesn't progress. In this case, you may try to log in in after a few hours and it may most likely be resolved. At present we're going to type our email and password. The email ought to be a Gmail email as well as its associated password. For instance you make use of the exact same email you're using at the moment in your YouTube account. So that I am going to enter my data and I will go back as soon as I have done it. Voila, information typed in. Find out Google welcoming us and providing us the terms of service. We should agree to all of them by just clicking, I agree. Then, it make us possible to backup to the Google Cloud. You could leave it selected and it'll build a backup of your data files on this device to Google Drive. I won't select it, you do what you want. We mouse click on accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started without need to open it manually and instantly. To install the game, we have got to visit the Android emulator desktop by simply clicking that icon indicated green colored. At present that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator for Android, we observe that we now have here the install app button. We mouse click on that button. Listed here we come with the game app. Let's click on there on the, install, button that I'm just displaying now in green color. That click will launch the software installation. At present it should download and install the video game, 
It normally takes quite some time or perhaps it might possibly be almost immediate. That all relies upon on the web connection. It has already finished setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this specific button I'm showing in green, so that you can launch Diablo Immortal for the very first time. You are at present on the emulator desktop, and we are preparing to click on the brand new Diablo Immortal icon which was created. Your game app is launched for the first time. There we get it, I'm able to press anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the sound level of the emulator. It is here. We have got the icon of higher volume and also the icon of lower volume. This manner we do not use the windows volume to increase or decrease the music of your emulator. And also to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we could turn on the big screen, for which we have two options. This one is actually the first one. We mouse click on this icon which I'm identifying in green color. Thus the monitor is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. If ever we would like to run the video game in full screen, we select this particular app icon. And we might without a doubt be enjoying the video game in full screen setting. To leave the 100% screen setting, hit the F11 key. And so we would probably currently be in normal screen setting. At present, I am on the way to present you the computer keyboard mapping which is rather appealing. That step we will likely be capable to play the game app much more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this computer keyboard icon. It's now time to complete the required adjustments. I am going to let the default settings, however if you really want to modify this, you can easily do this without any problem. Obviously, the emulator is fully in our own language. In certain cases it happens that the emulator is launched in the erroneous language, as an example, in Japanese. And as a result to place it in the correct language we go here to the cogwheel. And thus there throughout additional configurations, we click on the language drop down. We will pick the language we prefer, German, Japanese, and so forth. When the language is decided, we should save, the emulator will restart, and the game, the next time we use it, would also be in the selected language. Presently, you can find another thing that we will need to take into account, and it is that we will get a message from Gmail telling that a completely new electronic device has been linked to this Google account. It will definitely question us if we are the people who have connected that device. Yes, we shouldn't get worried, because the emulator is simulating an Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to find which electronic device is being emulated, we come right here. To the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure you browse here to the model choice. And right here we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung cell phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for my training. I believe you liked it, especially that you thought it was informative. In this case, offer it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and I will be happy to answer your remarks, concerns or suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. Click on any of these videos that happens to be appearing on the computer screen and see you in the future training videos. Bye.